How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back and tuning back in to watch a brand new video. And if you're new to this channel, welcome to the club. So lean back, get your popcorn, get your notebook, get your iPad, because me and you, I can learn something today. So let's go. In one word, tell me what you're doing today. Living. Oh. In one word, tell me what you're doing today. Uh, trying. <laughs> In one word, what are you doing today? Doing. <laughs> Uh, I've never done this uh, this concept before, which is Pegasus, and the client that I'm doing it on, he's actually in the last two videos, he got the cover up here, he got Poseidon on his forearm, and now he's getting Pegasus on the outer forearm to finally start wrapping up his sleeve. And you guys are going to be able to see how my tattoos uh, look after two weeks and one week later, so you're going to see the healing process and you're going to see the fully healed tattoo. And yeah, so it's going to be a great day. So this is the concept here we have Pegasus and as you can see I'm going to be focusing on explaining how I do the torso area because I feel like that's the area that has the most soft shading no texture so this is this is rare for me like not adding texture to a piece is rare because I love I love texture I'm going to add some color here on the background with some yellows and some oranges to match the Poseidon that I did last week so today's video is sponsored by the um <laughs> No, I'm nervous. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Higher Level Tattoo Supply Store uh, located in Phoenix. Um, they recently dropped their new brand of cartridges here and I'm gonna be using them today. And the sizes that I'm gonna be using is seven round liner, uh, 15 curve mag, and my favorite 14 round shader. So thank you guys so much for uh, supporting me and thank you guys so much for uh, providing me with all these cool products and if you guys want to order some go ahead and uh, go to their link and uh, buy some product and they can ship them up to you and I'm also wearing their shirt today look at that que es el coac in their logo saucy <laughs> This is a week later, I mean two weeks later, fully healed. So you can see all the texture is still there, nothing of the previous tattoo. Can, obviously we have not finished the tiger on the top. I have not done anything to the teeth, the whiskers, nothing on the mouth, nothing. As far as the face though, man, texture everywhere. Zoom in into it, zoom in, zoom in. Oh, fully healed, done. And then we have Poseidon that we did last week, still in the healing process. But as you can tell, colors are bright. So let's put on the stencil real quick. And I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of yellows to match this area with Pegasus and Poseidon. So I'm gonna connect them with using yellows and oranges. And I'm gonna go for it right here. Look at that. Let's go! <laughs> you want me to turn it up?
All right, so we finally are at the area where I wanted to kind of go in depth and explain a, a little bit more uh, how I would execute soft shading around the stomach of the, the horse. So this, the, this part of the horse has a lot of muscles on the chest area, the stomach. Uh, so I like that a lot. So I'm gonna be using a 15 curve mag uh, throughout the whole thing. So I'm gonna dip it in in my medium tone here. And I'm gonna build up my tones. Here you go. So let's start with this area here. I'm running my machine at 5.0. And right now I'm just kind of doing like little brushes, little strokes, building it up. Good start, good start. It's about taking your time. I feel like when it comes down to soft shading, it's really important to be taking your time and build it up. I'm actually gonna add more contrast. I kind of wanna, I'm looking at my tone and I feel like it's, it's a little, it, it's, it's light. I feel like I can go darker than that. So I'm gonna dip it in in my solid black and start making it darker without cleaning the needle. There we go, there it is right there. Yup. I feel like you just needed more contrast. I need that stomach to be really dark so that way when it, when it, uh, Whenever I go up to the chest, it's gonna contrast super nice, going from super dark to super light. So now I'm gonna dip it in my medium to fade it towards the end. And there's so many ways that you can execute like soft shading. This is, this is my way of doing it and the way I feel the most comfortable. How would you do it? <clears throat> Drop a comment and let me know how you execute it, if you have a different approach, what voltage do you use? There we go. Now it's taking shape. I can already see like the muscles coming together. And I'm ready to start blending it out, going towards the chest. And I'm also using the corner of the mag to create some sharp edges. When I do, when I use mags like a 27 curve mag or a 15 curve mag, I like using a lot of the edge to create like lines, to do, basically use it as a liner. I'm sure you heard that you're not supposed to be using mags for lining and um, it is true. It is true. Uh, but like I mentioned before, this is just the way I like doing my, my tattoos and honestly, Sometimes it's good to break the rules, you know what I mean? And do your own thing. Figure it out on, um, figure it out and uh, make it your own style. You don't need to be following rules. I feel like nobody has ever uh, came up with a new style by following the rules. So if you already know what you're doing, if you're already a tattoo artist, you already know how to use your machine, you already know how to pack in color, you already know, you're already an experienced artist. I think it's, you know, it's time for you to try something new, you know what I mean? It's 
step out of your comfort zone. Try something new. I don't know. Just push it. Push your limits. Uh, but if you're a beginner artist, follow the rules for now. And right now I'm just dipping back and forth. So I'm moving up. I'm gonna dip it in my medium tone now. And now I'm gonna start fading it out slowly. And there you go, that's the way I would do it. Um, pretty much nothing else to explain. That's the movement I'm gonna keep doing over and over again and I don't think there's much more that I can explain besides that I just go back and forth in between my tones and build it up until I like what I see. I like running my machine at 5.0 with a 15 curve mag. It gives me a chance to build it without thinking about that I'm a scar the skin. And I know in some cases with other artists, that's not the case. You know, I'm pretty sure some of you run it at 10 or a nine or an eight and still don't scar the skin. Uh, but that's just what works for me. And uh, if you want to give it a try, let me know if it works. Let's go. Thank you guys for tuning back in and watching the whole video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys liked this video as much as I did. And uh, yeah, I've been engaging a lot, by the way, in, uh, in the comments. So to the people who comment the first two days uh, after I post this video, I will be answering every comment. And if you have a question, I will be answering that too. So thank you guys for watching. And, and blah, blah. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. And if you, if you, <laughs> and if you, and if you are, <laughs> okay. So thank you guys for watching. If you and if you <laughs> and if you are a tat and if you are a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.